Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Courtney Luking. She's an extension specialist for nutrition and health. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, Christy. It's great to have you, Courtney. Now, we have all heard the phrase that cold air will make you sick. Courtney, is, does playing outside necessarily make kids sick? What a great question, right? Bundle up or you'll catch a cold. And the truth, Christy, is that cold weather does not cause kids to get sick. Instead, sickness is the result of the opportunity for viruses to spread when we spend more time indoors with others. So compared to being cooped up inside, the fresh air and open space outside can actually lower the risk of getting sick. And playing outside also gives kids more space to release energy and make all that loud noise that you don't necessarily want inside. So many benefits to getting outdoors. What suggestions do you have for playing outside? One of my favorite quotes, and I'm not sure who to attribute it to, but it's that there is no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothes. And the point is that dressing for the weather is going to be the key to have fun outside in any kind of weather. Very true. So important to make sure that we're bundling up. What, what should kids wear when they go outside? Your phrase bundling up is a good one. <laughs> the first tip I would suggest is dressing in layers. Several thin layers um, will keep kids warm and dry. And so now I'm thinking back to my childhood. I didn't understand why my parents wanted us to wear what we called long underwear, but um, it makes so much sense now because as you add these layers up, it can keep heat in, keep water out. So this includes things like socks and insulated boots. And if you're going to be out in like snow, for example, some snow pants and uh, jackets and shirts that can be tucked into pants. And typically kids will need one more layer than adults. And if they get too warm, you can always peel a layer off. Courtney, I think we all probably have that memory of getting really bundled up and just being so anxious to get outside, but we know that our parents or caregivers meant well. Uh, are there ever times where it's unsafe to play outside? The wind chill is going to be your best guide as to whether to go outside or how long to stay outside. So above 32 degrees, that freezing mark, it is safe. And so let kids play for as long as they aren't getting cold. And as it starts to drop lower, you know, under that freezing mark, just limit your time outside, maybe 20 to 30 minutes, or again, being responsive and paying attention to when kids are starting to maybe get cold. But if that wind chills below like negative 15, then it, it's going to be best for everyone to stay inside, even if for no matter how short of a time you would go out, it's better to stay in. Yeah, Courtney, I'm convinced that my son would stay outside all day if I let him. We had a snow day um, a few weeks ago, and we had so much fun, um, but I was definitely feeling some of those signs that I needed to go inside. What, what are some of those signs uh, that we should look for that kind of tell us that it's time to go back in? Yes. So Christy, the, the point that you started to feel cold is a really important sign because kids actually can start to get colder faster than adults. And so if they're having fun, they're not going to recognize that they're getting cold or they may just not want to go indoors. So we, by paying attention to ourselves, that might be a sign, but also just paying attention to children. If they start to say something about their fingers or their toes or their nose or their cheeks, or they're really just starting to get red, it's probably time to go in and take a break. Um, also just planning for regular breaks, right? Um, so instead of just playing till they stop, say we're going to go out for this period of time and then we'll come back in, but we can always go back out after we warm up. Courtney, thank you so much for being with us today. So much good information. If you are watching and would like any more information, be sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.